Hi, I'm Colin Farrell and we're at the 2013 Moving Families Forward Gala. with the Ackerman Institute and this wonderful event called Moving Families Forward and I've, it's really amazing to see sort of how it's grown just in the last three years now that even Colin Farrell is here today to be honored um, as a recipient. But I think uh, what this organization it prides itself on is really helping families through the most difficult moments whether it's dealing with the loss of a loved one through suicide or mental health problems. This is an organization that has the training and the right therapist you know, whether or not families can afford to pay, the organization works with them to help get them through those times. It doesn't matter what your financial needs are, they provide and do the work that is needed to keep families together through the most trying times. We train future family therapists. We have several clinics throughout the city, so we are able to treat families who need our help and to help them move forward. And a lot of the innovation, or I would say most of the innovatives, thinking and writing that comes, to, that has to do with the Family Institute and to do with family therapy comes from the staff at Ackerman. I mean the work that Ackerman do is, is astonishing and it's essential, you know, because so many parents feel isolated and feel, you know, kind of, you know, uh, polarized if, if they are, you know, both fortunate enough and 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 in, in ways which you get to tear down yourself, seemingly unfortunate enough to have a child with special needs because it's it's tricky and it's intense and the rewards are legion but it's a it's a, it's a lot of hard work and and to to try and find out how to get support what kind of support you're 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 legally um, you know you're legally allowed to, to receive from the state or the government it's very intense you know and to the cost of medication and the idea of therapies and early intervention and Ackerman are really at the at the forefront of of supporting families and, and sharing information with families and basically helping them cope, you know? So that they can be like parents, so that they, they can feel empowered by, by knowledge and empowered by a certain degree of certainty. I actually met uh, Lois Braverman and her team in January. Um, we were selected to, uh, to meet with Lois about their new facility that they were looking to move into after 50 years uptown. Um, so I didn't know much about them at that time, but dealing with them on a weekly basis, uh, I got to know the work that they do. Um, and how passionate they are about what they do, so they, they kind of hooked me. What we really know is that when families are in authentic, good connection with one another, when they really feel understood and seen by one another, they have great resilience. It, so they're able to face all the challenges that life puts in front of them. It's not that any of us are without challenges, but the question is, is when, there's, when we face those challenges, how do we, who can we rely on and what strengthens us and we really know that children are strengthened through the connections they have with their family members. It's hard to, as we grow old, to keep the family together you know? and, and for me something very um, important, uh, grandparents for me, I see how we separate them at the, you know, at the end of their life which, which should be actually the opposite because they, they, they give us, um, they gave us everything when we were young, little. So that's actually the challenge to keep the family together once we grow. You know, you just have to look two blocks over generally and, and, and you'll see kids are not eating uh, properly. They're not having breakfast, lunch and dinner like most kids are. And, um, you know, I think giving the kids the solid foundation is probably the biggest problem. A lot of kids aren't, you know, being raised in, in a family unit that, uh, that you know, is, is going to support them and help them aspire to be great. And sadly, I think that's where the breakdown happens. If it's not happening at home, then you know, likely these kids are going to be lost. But with organizations like this one, they're helping make sure that families stay on the right footing, stay on the right path, and keep the family together as a unit to work through whatever those issues may be.